Hey folks, hope this finds you well. We're looking at factors, multiples and prime numbers today. Um, okay, so first of all, let's look at factors. Okay, what is an actual factor? So I guess the way to look at a factor um, is looking at numbers that go into something. So I'm going to put that there. Numbers that will divide exactly into a specific number, I guess, a specific number. Um, that, now it's a very general rule, I guess. So let's have a look at an example. Let's have a look at the factors of six, for example. Well, what numbers divide into six exactly? Well, some obvious ones might be um, six and one, okay? Because six divided by six is one. Six divided by one is six, they both go into it. Some other numbers might be 2, because 6 is an even number. So 2 goes into 6, and it goes into 6 three times. So there's a couple of ways that you could write this out. Now, the way I did that was probably not the best of ways, I guess. A lot of times this is what I might do. I might say, well, 6 times 1 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6. And that's actually what I'm doing in my head, these numbers here. Because if they can times together to go in, to make the actual number we're looking for, they must be factors. So again, factors are numbers that divide exactly into a specific number. So can I ask you to pause this for a moment, please? And I want you to write the factors of 20. Okay, so hopefully these are the factors you've written down. 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. There are six factors of 20. Now, you might not have done them in that order. You may have actually done uh, put them in ascending. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Okay, but it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, but there are six factors of 20. Um, if you want to look at what the HCF is, the highest common factor, um, I have got less than the highest common factors, but basically the highest common factor is when you look at two separate numbers, for example, 6 and 20, and look at which factor goes into both of them and is the highest number. In this case, 2 would be the highest common factor because it goes into both 20 and 6. So that's pretty much what a factor is going to be. So second of all, then, let's look at what a multiple is. Now, a multiple is actually really easy. You've done this before. These are basically the times tables. I should actually put times in front of that, it's times tables. So for example, the multiples of three would be things like this. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, etc. So your multiples are simply just your times tables. So likewise, can I ask you please, to write down the first, let's say, five multiples of five. Okay, so hopefully you said this. Five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So they're just the times tables. Now, like that last question, we had the HCF, which meant the highest common factor. We're gonna look at what we call the LCM, which means the lowest common multiple. Now, there'll be no point looking at the highest common multiple because you can see these numbers are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger forever. So realistically, the number would never stop. You know, it would be impossible. So if I looked for the lowest common multiple, well, which number is in both of these columns? I'd look through and go, well, hold on, we've got a 15 here. We've got a 15 here. Therefore, the LCM of 3 and 5 would be 15. Okay, but again, for another lesson on, on multiples and on, on in terms of LCM, so go and have a look at that later on. So again, very basic, I guess, your factors are numbers that go into it, something and your multiples are your times tables. So then let's now look at your prime numbers. Okay, you may have looked at prime numbers. So a prime number basically is anything that has only two factors. Hence why we did factors first. So what, a, what is a number, any number, that only has two factors? So you might say, for example, 2. Well, what are the factors of 2? 1 and 2. Therefore, 
2 is a prime number. What about 5? It has 1 and 5. That's also prime. What about 9? It has 1 and 9, but it also has 3. So that's not a prime number. So a, a prime number is any number that has only two factors. So the question I throw out to you right now, what about 1? Is 1 a prime number? It's a very interesting one because most people say yes. If you said yes, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. 1 is not a prime number because it only has one factor. It's just 1. 1 times 1 times 1, it's always 1. So unfortunately, 1 is not prime. So if I'm looking at, for let's say, the first maybe 4 or 5 prime numbers, we'll be looking at 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, etc. Okay? So they're, they're all prime numbers because they all only have two factors. So the very last thing I'm going to talk about is composite numbers. So composite numbers are basically non primes. So things like, I guess, um, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, etc, etc, etc. So basically, a composite has more than two factors, I guess. More than two factors. Okay, guys, look, very basic lesson, okay, just on about what is a prime, what is a composite number, what is a factor, what is a multiple, but this lesson hopefully will lead you into some of the further lessons I have on like factor trees, cube roots, and all sorts of things like that as well. Okay, I hope this was useful. Um, best of luck. Give me some feedback if uh, you would like anything, anything else explained to you further. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic day.